Hey, hey. How are you? Sorry, I'm recording on my tablet using my phone. Both were half dead. So I had to make a decision what I was going to do. So I'm looking at myself, which is going to look weird unless I look at the camera, which to me looks weird. So y'all come on in. Give me a second because I'm trying to get situated. Well, I'm situated, but you know. Just got off the phone with my daddy. And he's doing good. Telling me about the weather in Michigan, that it's raining and all the other good stuff. So that's what I was doing. I told a couple people that I was coming on live. And, um,. I know they were probably like, what you doing? What's taking so long? That's why I was talking to my daddy. I was not trying to rush my daddy off the phone because I wanted to talk to him. Like, for real, for real. And then I will get started and I will let you guys know what I'm doing. If I'm talking too low, let me know. Um, everybody say that I'm very loud. I have a loud mouth and I know that I do. So I don't want to yell at anybody and I don't want to make it seem like I'm mad or anything like that because I'm not um, but to get everything out of the way um, I named it this is what did I name it this is pretty good or this is so good or something let me see what did I say oh this is pretty good yes hey y'all a lot of people are coming on hey everybody I'm not really talking about Nothing extra special. Well, to me, it's kind of special, but I'm not talking about nothing extra special today. Um, and it's not, uh, it's not pertaining to ministry right now. Not right now, it's not. That's normally what I come on to talk about. To talk about ministry work and where we're going, where we're traveling. My awesome leaders, Apostle Keith K. Curry and Pastor Keisha Curry, always on the road traveling. Hey, y'all. I love you guys. Um, but I'm actually talking about my job. Y'all know I work for It Works. Duh. So that's what I'm talking about because I told some of you. Okay, I'm going to get off my phone because I've done everything I need to do over there. So I told a lot of you that um, about the keto coffee that came out. Or that was coming out because that's the newest line. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that the rest of the products will be more along the lines of keto. Um, so I've been doing my research and I was supposed to order my coffee. And then I did, ended up not ordering my coffee, which I was kind of sad about. But I ended up not ordering it um, because I needed to wait. Um, I needed my thermal fit and all that other stuff. Like I really needed that more. And I'm a little addicted to Dunkin' Donuts and, you know, I have a, a kind of love-hate for Starbucks. So, I was like, you know, it's not really a rush. But I have an awesome friend who gave me some samples. And I have two people that are actually um, going to test this out for me to tell me because they are coffee fanatics. Like, um, I think they drink coffee... Uh, I know they drink coffee every day. I'm just not sure how many cups. Hey to everybody that's logging on. Um, this is what I am talking about. The keto coffee. I got my hands on a couple of packs. I have two people that are testing, um, testing out packs for me. And then I have mine that I made. I mean, if we had something, you know, if It Works came out with something with a little chicken, then you know. I probably would I probably would eat that too, but I made my coffee and I made it before I got on the live because the signal in my kitchen is absolutely horrid. So any other time that I've ever tried to go live, try to do anything in my kitchen is actually pretty it's pretty stupid. Um and the signal is like in and out or I have to be like basically standing right next to my refrigerator and that's really uncomfortable when I'm trying to get stuff done. Hey Wayne. When I'm trying to get stuff done, trying to get stuff situated. So I decided to go ahead and make mine anyway. Um, for anybody that does not know, the keto coffee, the keto coffee is soy free. It's no GMO. Um, you can use it, of course, on the go. Um, I'm still doing research, so please do not think. Excuse me, I will stop and sip. But please do not think that I know everything about it because I do not. This is something that is brand new. 
I think I have only heard of keto or ketosis or the keto diet. I think maybe three or four times in my life before this. And it's crazy that I have a friend named Matt. Um, and he worked out with my husband a lot and, you know, built a relationship with him and his family. And he is like a gym fanatic. He's all about fitness, him and his wife. Um, they have two beautiful children and he actually, uh, introduced us to a different product that is keto or ketosis or, you know, uh, I don't really know the correct terminology, but I am still doing my research on it. So this is only from the research that I have. If you want more information, you can ask me and I'll try to give you more information. Um, but the thing about this and everybody is saying like it has MCT oil, grass fed butter and collagen. Now, for the majority of this stuff, I have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to even fake like I know or like I haven't had. Yes, you hear me shuffling through my papers. Because I'm not, I'm not above myself to say I don't know what I'm talking about. I knew nothing about none of this. I have no problem with saying I don't know what I'm talking about, and that's exactly what I'm telling you. I have no clue. Well, I have a little bit of clue, a little bit, not much, but I got a little bit. So I've been doing my research, and I've been looking into uh, keto and keto keto diet. Hi, everybody. Hey. Oh, Sister Faraby, I miss you. I really miss your face. I'm not used to going this long without seeing you or hugging you. I think I saw you last night at Bible study, but I did not have a chance to give you a hug. I was running around, um, had some meetings that I had to go to, so I could not hug you, but I would definitely hug you on Saturday or if I see you tomorrow, tomorrow night with the Apostle, because we'll be in Wilmington tomorrow night. So, hey, if y'all in the area, y'all want to come out of Wilmington, y'all come and support my apostle because he will be preaching in some man's conference or something like that. Yeah, it's a man's conference. But, of course, he's going to empower the women because, I mean, you can't really talk about the man without talking about the woman. But, you know, I'm sure he'll probably watch this and be like, really? But, yeah. So, with the keto coffee. Now, they talk about this grass-fed butter. Let me see if I can remember what that what that even is. Um... I have two pages of notes, like, I took notes on the stuff that I've been watching and learning and watching live videos from other people. Now, if you don't like a lot of caffeine, then you probably won't like this from what some people are saying because it's um, 125 milligrams of caffeine per serving, which is this. The way that I did mine, because I have been watching other people's stuff, I kind of been stalking some people's pages because I knew that they were going to have it before me. So... Um, I've been watching their pages and the way that they described it was that, of course, because it's a powder, everything is ground up. So, you know, if you pour everything into your liquid at one time, then it'll get, you know, kind of clumpy. It'll take a little bit to dissolve. So I kind of did mine in sections. Like I would just pour a little bit and then stir it up because I wanted mine hot. So I did it with hot water and then turn out my water wasn't hot enough. So, you know, just, I tasted it and I was just like, no, it's not even hot. So I had to reheat it. Then I found out that my cup, um, this is actually like, uh, I guess, aluminum or metal or something like that. So I about burned down my house um, because I didn't know that, um, you know, I like burn up this side. I think this is the side that you can see. So like cracked up and all of that. So once sparks and stuff started flying and it sounded like that I was like heating up chicken or something in my, in my microwave. I had to run and go see what it was, and it was my cup. So, you know, just buyer beware. You know, be careful with these cute cups. You know, and this was actually a gift to me. So be careful with the cute cups because you don't want to burn down your house, and you don't want to um, be at fault. And I live in the middle. Um, it's three levels to my apartment, uh, apartment complex, and I'm in the middle. So I think that probably would have been kind of bad if, you know, the fire started in the middle. Because I don't know if anybody else is home, you know, and it's kind of bad. But anyway, so that's my slow moment for the day. Yes, you can um, talk about me. It's okay. I am a clumsy person, so it's cool. So after I freaked out and kind of panicked a little bit about almost burning down my apartment and everybody else's stuff and ruining children's lives, um, I went ahead and made it.
So that was after I heated it up. And the good thing about that is once I heated it up, it had like a like a foam at the top, kind of like it looked kind of like a espresso. I think that's the one that has the like that white or like creamy foam on the top. Now, most people were saying you don't want to add any sugar and you don't want to add any cream in this coffee because everything that you need, the healthy components are already in here. And when I heard that, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> okay, you can say whatever you want, but I'm going to need a little hazelnut, a little French vanilla, and I'm going to need some scoops of sugar because that's how I drink my coffee. I like my my coffee to be sugary, sweet deliciousness. It is normally light skin, like myself, okay? It is normally light skin because I put lots and lots and lots of my creamer, but... The color consistency, I'm sure you probably will not be able to see this. I will try to take a picture after because I don't want to tip it and then spill it on top of my tablet because then that's going to suck as well. But, um, and yes, I did say I like my coffee light skin as myself. <laughs> um, I am tired. I am very sleep deprived. I have not been sleeping very well, but that's okay because God is still good. And I got some good sleep last night. So that's better, but I still needed this energy. So, after I mixed in all this good stuff and I tasted it, I was just like, oh shoot, I was going to wait to do the live. Um, I was actually going to do like a recorded video and then just upload it. Um, but I was like, no, I'm going to come on and I'm going to go ahead and do a live because I'm trying to step out. I kind of backed off and slacked off a little bit. So, I want to start doing my lives. I want to go live at least once a month, which is that is the bare minimum. I want to try to do like once a week. Um, but, of course, because I have life going on, that's not possible all the time to come on live. Um, so, that's just it. So, back to the ingredients. Um, so, it is 125 milligrams of caffeine. So, I guess a lot of people say that that's, I guess, a bad thing. Mm, I don't know. Um because I really don't track stuff like that. Like, I don't track calories and I don't track, um, you know, the milligrams of sodium and carbohydrates and protein, all that stuff. Like, I just don't track that. Like, to me, that's just, like, so much work. Um, and maybe one day I'll get into doing that. But I just kind of am just like, no thank you right now. Like, well, it's not that deep. So I just do, you know, my research and just say, okay, yeah, this is good or it's not good. So, I'm thinking that it probably is okay because it's so many other companies, um, like health and wellness companies that are now coming out with like coffee flavored stuff or, you know, doing something like that. So, I'm kind of thinking that it's a good thing and like it's kind of like picking up a trend. So, I did take some notes on the stuff that it was talking about because as you see on the front, it does say the MCT oil, the grass fed butter and the collagen. So, the oh, I'm sorry, I didn't cover it up. See, that's I'm not used to doing it on my tablet. Um, so, um, the coffee will, uh, keep your body in a ketosis state. Um, I'm still looking up ketosis cause I'm not a hundred percent sure what that is. I guess like a basic understanding of it is like when you work out, um, you know, you burn calories, you get your heart rate up and you get, you know, get your body flowing, but you never get to the point of ketosis. Um, because I guess your body kind of plateaus or you get too tired or most people stop working out before they get to the actual ketosis, which is going to help you lose more weight, um, and stay in shape, I guess, longer or better or whatever. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent on all of this. So I'm just giving you the information that I do know that I wrote down. So. The grass-fed butter is a high-quality fat content that kills cravings and curbs your appetite. So I definitely was looking into this because, um, um, like I said, you know, I'm anybody that knows me knows that I am a extreme snacker. Um, so because I am an extreme snacker, like I be needing my snacks and I need them right now. Like I'm a snacker nine times out of 10. If you walk up to me and ask me, do I have a cough drop, a peppermint, a Jolly Rancher, a now later, a pack of chips, um, some fruit snacks or something nine times out of 10, my answer is going to be yes, because I keep snacks in my purse. Um, and I'm not ashamed. And no, it's not because I am fat as some people would say. Um, it's because I be hungry and I like to snack. And that's, that's just the truth. I am an extreme snack. I am addicted to snacks. But I don't do a lot of sweets outside of candy. I don't do cupcakes and muffins and pies and all of that 
I don't really like all of that. But you put me in front of a, a um a um candy bar or some uh some chewy, some nine laters or I mean I always have mints and stuff. I just have a um a complex about having stinky breath. I it's just something about talking to people and I talk a lot. And I talk to a lot of people, especially with ministry, um, you know, doing marketing and running around and, you know, talking to people and high and taking pictures and, you know, just speaking to people in general. Um, you do not want to offend people with your breath. So, and I'm a crybaby and, you know, crying makes your breath stinky even more. So I make sure I keep snacks. So I was like, okay, this is perfect for me because I am an extreme snacker and I want that. And it, because it curbs your appetite. Um, which I think is good too, because my snacking is increased when I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. So I would just grab a snack. I would rather eat chips and drink some juice and watch a movie versus actually getting food, get a salad or a pizza pizza or a burger or chicken sandwich or, you know, something like that. I would much, much rather get snacks than to eat food, which is my downfall because, of course, people say because of the calories and the salt content and the sodium and all of that, it's not good for you. And then your body stores more fat because it doesn't know when you're actually going to eat to burn that energy and all that good stuff. So that's another reason why I said, OK, I have to try this. So that's the grass fed butter. Now, the MCT oil is medium change triglycerides, if I pronounce that wrong. Sorry, guys. Hi to all the new people that are coming on. I am talking about this deliciousness here, the keto coffee. And it is good. I have no sugar and I have no creamer in this coffee. And it is actually not bad. Um, it's actually creamy on its own. It does not need to have anything else. Would I like it to be sweeter? Ta yeah, because I love everything sweet. But I'm trying to be disciplined. And I'm not going to drink this coffee and put sugar or anything else in it. So I did not. It is water and this lovely packet. I poured it in there, stirred it up, had to reheat it, almost burnt my house down. Go back and watch the replay and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because I did almost burn my house down because of my lovely gift. And the little aluminum pineapple got to sizzling and shooting sparks. But if you go back and watch the replay, then you, you'll understand what I mean by that. So don't do that, guys. Okay? All right. Um... And MCT um, is the healthiest fat by far, um, which I didn't know from doing my research. <laughs> Rachel said she added sugar to hers. I don't know. Like, I was really kind of scared to add sugar because I I I overdo it. I overdo it with sugar. Like, my tea, like my husband's like, you're drinking hot sweet tea because it is like sugary. I'm telling, like, it is like a layer of sugar at the bottom. Like, I have to stir it. Um... No, it was not live when I was about to burn the house down. No, because my kitchen, the signal in my kitchen is horrible. So, no, it was not live. And I'm glad that it was not live because people would have saw me um, panic. And, no, it's not sad. <laughs> See, now, she's one. She is a coffee fanatic. So she is one that could drink black coffee. I can, I will gag like, and I will, no, I cannot. But I'm trying to train myself to not depend on sugar because diabetes is that's real life. That is real talk, and I'm not trying to have diabetes. I want to have children, and I'm not trying to have, um, you know, the sugars <laughs> while I'm pregnant. Um, I do not. I do not. I don't. I really don't. Um, so that is one of the main reasons why I'm trying to back off. Because I know as you get pregnant, or when you get pregnant, or when you're trying to get pregnant, it's certain things that you must do. Um, and that is one of the main reasons why I'm still with this company, because the benefits of it is beyond a check. I'm not worried about a check. If I was worried about a check, um, I probably would have quit a long time ago, because I don't think I've made the check that I have really wanted um, since I've joined. But that goes with me, because I haven't really put, I put in part-time work thinking I was going to get full-time hours. Come on, catch that. You're not going to get it, okay? It's not going to work. All right. So like any other job, you have to put in, um, you have to put in the work. And honestly, I did not put in the work that I really wanted to or that I needed to put in to get that full-time check. So I'm just trying to do better now. On top of trying to get a full-time check, I still want to share all of the products because all of the products have a benefit that will probably help somebody that I know. Um, and it's not, not necessarily one person, not necessarily two people, but it's a few people that I know could benefit from some of these products. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, Matea. So, okay, so catch you up, Matea. So, 
Rayshonda gave me some samples. So I'm talking about uh I'm talking about this. It's really with diabetes. Oh, nice. So you did some uh you did some research too. Uh oh, you better help me out, girl. Um, yes, so I'm still doing research on the keto diet for all the new people that are coming in. Um, I'm talking about the keto diet and giving my honest review. I seriously took like three sips before I came live. Um, only because I was like, uh, if it's real bad, I got to get my face together. And that's just honest. Um, I got to get my face together. I would still give an honest review if it was gross. I would tell you I don't like it. But it's not bad. It's pretty good. I did not add any sugar. I did not add any creamer, and it looks like I added creamer, but I did not. Um, I know it was another comment I was trying to go back. I added about a half a bottle. Come on, Julie. You got to put that, the, the sugar and the creamer. Come on, man. I can't. Now, you you good, because you can do it, but I cannot. I have to, uh, normally, I would say, well, regular coffee, I have to add sugar and cream. The cream is like that, because it's that much cream and then sugar. Um, so the grass-fed butter, the MCT oil, which they say MCT oil is really good for building hormones, um, and your body needs fat. So this is giving you good fat and not the bad parts of fat that um, most things have. Um, your MCT oil also has coconut and palm olive oils. So I know those are both awesome oils. Um, to have coconut oil, I actually want to start cooking with coconut oil because I heard that it's the best oil to cook with um, besides just olive oil and I heard that most olive oils really aren't even olive oil. Yeah, I just saw that. I just saw like a documentary on that. So I was a little hurt because I love olive oil. Um, but it's known, the coffee, the keto, um, it's known to enhance your mood and your mental focus. So a real fact from me is that my focus is very limited. Um, never been diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, none of that good stuff. But I'm pretty sure I probably have like maybe a little touch of that. Because I cannot focus. Like I will start cleaning my bathroom. And about halfway through I need to go and start laundry. And then after I start the laundry then I need to go vacuum. And then after I vacuum I'll go back to the bathroom. And then I need to go change the clothes over. And now I want to wash dishes. But in the middle of washing dishes I need to take a break and finish this episode episode of whatever I was watching and then I'm gonna go back to go finish the kitchen and then sweep and then I'm like oh snap I gotta start eat you know I gotta start dinner like duh so then I'm gonna start cooking but the bathroom is still not complete the di the the clothes are not done they're not folded um and half of my floor is vacuum so I'm pretty sure my focus is just not there or even with reading I cannot read anything for too long because I'm just like I cannot I might be able to read like a page like if I'm reading a book it has to like really draw my attention like really really has to draw my attention and not just the Bible the Bible is very intriguing to me because that's just who I am and I want to know and I'm a nosy person so because I don't know what all it entails or I don't know certain stories off the top of my head stories you know stories you know Job and stories you know what I'm talking about if not then go read the Bible but you know, different stories that I want to know about. So then I will, oh, thank you so much. Um, I will go and, you know, research it, look at it or whatever. But I seriously cannot sit down for a long time and read. And I don't know what that is, but I just can't do it. So I really want this to help me, to help my focus, um, to help my mental focus. Um, because my mind be all over the place. And I think that might just be like a woman thing. But I will think about what I need to do in two weeks versus what needs to get done today. And I'm like making a to-do list for the next two weeks. And I'm like, I haven't even swept the floor of what I was supposed to do today. So I really want this to work for me. And I will be keeping you guys up to date and up to speed um, with my progress with using it along with other products. I think I'm going to start talking about other products. I think I'll start going live maybe once a week to talk about different products. So you guys can leave a comment and I will make a list of what products you actually want to um, know about. Um, I know some of you watch, some of you don't watch. Um, some of you watch and never comment, never like, never share. No, none of that. And it's nothing wrong with that because I did that for a long time too. I watched my friend Matea for I don't know how long and I was just like, yeah, whatever. She talk about these pills. Ain't nobody got time. I'm not trying to take them pills. I was sick. Excuse me. That keto coffee got it going. Um, 
I was sick, I was fat, and I was just like, whatever, I don't even care about what she doing. But because it was constantly in my face and constantly on my newsfeed, I was just like, yo, like, okay, let me go look at her website. Okay, let me go look. So if you need information or you want more information on this, then you just let me know. Um, yeah, it's a woman thing. It definitely is. I 100% I agree. Um, now, collagen, they're saying is the healthiest fat and collagen is in the keto diet. Um, not a hundred percent about collagen. I'm not really sure what's the purpose, but I will let you guys know. I'm going to try to get some more information and maybe, um, I would do like a post where I write the stuff down, excuse me, where I write the stuff down, or I might come back on and do a live and just say, you know, like this is a part two or whatever, um, to give you all of it. Now, one of the main things that I love about this is that it can fit in my purse. Like I said, I put everything and my purse is bad. I have like those big old duffel bags. It looks like a duffel bag. It's like a luggage. <laughs> like a small carry-on. That is my purse because I have so many things that I put in it. And I'm excited that I could put this in my little back zipper on the inside. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. That one zipper on the inside that you normally put, you know, your, your sanitary napkins. Or um, you put your favorite pack of gum that you don't really want to share with other people. You know, you put the regular gum out. So if they ask, they eat that. But you put the good one in the back pocket. Oh, I'm the only one. Okay, whatever. So, like that, or like your business cards, or like for me, my blitz cards. Like, I put all that stuff, like, in that back pocket because it's secure. Nothing's going to touch it. You know, it's going to stay, you know, good to go or whatever. So, I'm glad that it can fit in my purse. It's soy-free. Bless the Lord. Because I'm lactose, but that has never stopped me from eating a delicious snack. Never in my life. I eat ice cream right now. Nobody will like me after I eat that ice cream, but I will eat that ice cream. And I will love it. And I really don't care about your comment because I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> but that's why I love Burberry because I can go there. And my husband's like, yeah, you can go get that. He won't take me to Cold Stone as much, but he will take me to Burberry. So that's cool. I'm um, trying to see what else I missed off of the little bit of stuff that I have. Um, Dr. Don, which is the one that actually made this. Um, or he... Uh, I don't even know. Now I lost my thought. Dr. Don. He's like the creator of the products. So he knows what he's talking about. I mean, he's a doctor. So like a, you know, a doc, like a doctor, doctor. Um, so, you know, not like he like went online and got the degree and didn't like put in the work for it or do the in-class studies and all that good stuff. I'm not knocking online school because I did it for a long time. But you know what I mean? He's a doctor. So he created all of this stuff and he's saying that it's good to only do twice a day, which is for breakfast and for lunch. Um, and then for your dinner, you have like a low carb diet and you should not eat after 6 or 7 p.m. Now, that is a bad part for me um, because dinner is normally pretty late, which is bad. Um, now I understand why my mom used to have dinner done by like 5 or 6 and then after that, you know, you get your nighttime snack and then you go to bed. Um, which is good because the later you eat, the worse it is on you, the more your body stores that fat. Um, uh, and it's not good for you, like, at all. So it is good that you eat a little, uh, a little earlier. Give me a second, I'm trying to see. Or if somebody can comment and let me know how long has this live been. Because I don't want to, um, be on here all day. I could probably talk about this all day because I'm still learning. Um, and because I'm still learning, it's still intriguing to me. What is this? 28 minutes? I think it's like 28 minutes. Um, so a couple minutes, I'm going to wrap up. So, um, I think that's about it. But you don't want to eat late. Um, it does have caffeine in it, so they're saying that you don't want to take it late anyway. You don't want to drink it late anyway, because it'll probably keep you up unless you work, you know, late nights or you work night shift. Thank you, Rayshonda. Appreciate that. Um, late night or night shifts or whatever, um, they're saying that you can mix your greens inside of it. I'm not really sure if anybody would do the orange or the berry, but I know the chocolate greens will probably be pretty delicious in here. So I think I might do that next time. I think I might. I might mix in the chocolate greens and mix it in here with the water and see exactly how, um, how that tastes. It kind of, to me, would kind of resemble maybe like a mocha. Um, so I think that would actually be pretty good. I think that's like the basic information for it. Um, oh, pricing. Um, it's 15 packs for $39. 
15 packs for $39, which is not bad, especially if you go buy coffee, because, I mean, like I told you, I'm a do uh, uh, domino, see, fat girl, um, Dunkin' Donuts, I love Dunkin' Donuts, so when I go, normally I spend about five, maybe, yeah, about five dollars every time I go for my iced coffee, because I want the big one, and I build up my points, so then I could get, you know, my free drink or whatever, once I get my point. Y'all don't know, because y'all trying to act like y'all don't use y'all reward points to get y'all free stuff. I do. And Dunkin' Donuts is where I use the majority of mine. I have a free drink waiting now, and I'm over halfway to my next free drink, so I'm really excited about that. But, it's going to be great. It's going to be delicious. If you want more information, like I said before, then you just let me know. Um, oh, another tidbit is MCT oil. Um, it protects against heart disease. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, a lot of black people, not shading nobody, but a lot of black people, including myself, don't like going to the doctor. You don't like, um, you know, anything that's not saturated or fried. You don't like anything that, you know, is actually good for you. Um, you know, don't wait until you get sick, because that's what I did. I waited until... I got sick, and once I got sick and started having seizures and dropping everywhere and, you know, feeling weird, and that's when I decided, okay, now my health is a big deal. But I'm 31 years old, and being overweight ain't cool. On top of that, being out of breath, walking up and down stairs, that's not cool. Um, but not just that, my health. Like, like I said, I want to have children. I want my God children to be able to play with my children. I don't want it to just be like, oh, I had God kids and oh, she died before she had some kids. I'm not trying to do that. If I die, I'm trying to die because, you know, Jesus said my time to go, my little purpose here was done. Or because, you know, he didn't came back and it was the great catching away and, you know, we rolled off with him. That's how I'm trying to go out. I don't know about nobody else. I can only speak for myself. So that's what I'm trying to do. And in the process of doing that, I said that I need to take care of myself. And one of the ways of doing it was with It Works. So if you want any more information on the company, of course, the Keto Coffee is not the only thing that we offer. Um, I think we have over 30 products now. Um, a facial line, um, different type of supplements. Um, some people say they don't want to take supplements because that's cheating or whatever, but... Most people take supplements, um, you know, a pre-workout, a post-workout, your protein shakes and all that good stuff. We don't have a pre-workout. Um, the only thing that I would think with the, the pre-workout, actually, a lot of people say they would use a keto coffee for a pre-workout. Um, because it's going to give you that caffeine, it's going to give you that boost, it's going to, you know, get your focus going, going to get your mind and your juices flowing. Um, so some people are using it as a pre-workout. And then after you get done working out, we have protein shakes, we have the regular shake. Um, so all of that stuff is available. So if you want more information, then um, by all means, you let me know. I'm going to end it. Let me pull up this flyer. I mentioned it earlier. But I want to give you the proper information and the address. Like I said, I belong to one of the best ministries ever in America. Free and Independent Apostolic Church. And my presiding prelate, my senior leader. Well, he's the presiding prelate of the organization, Higher Ground Ministries of the World. But he is the senior leader, um, Apostle Keith K. Curry and Pastor Keisha Curry. And he will be preaching at a men's conference, Iron Sharpens Iron, tomorrow at 76 Darlington Avenue in Wilmington, North Carolina. So if you are in this area, you're in that area then please come out and join us it's a men's conference but of course he's going to empower the women because like i said before you cannot empower the women i mean empower the men without empowering the women so yes you guys wonder anytime that i talk about myself i will always include my ministry because that is me that is who i am if you do not see me talking about It Works, you definitely see me talking about Dr. Keith K. Curry or Free and Independent or uh, Shabak or Higher Ground Ministries of the World or my family. And that is basically me. Like, that's who I am. That is all I do. And I love it. I would rather be in church than to be in the club uh, getting shot at or something like that. Or, I mean, I had my time doing all of that and it's just not appealing or fun to me anymore. I'm too grown for that. Um, I got, you know, big girl goals. So, in order to reach those goals, I got to do the work. So, that was it. Once again, thank you all so much for tuning in and joining in. 
Um, if you missed this, you can go back and watch the replay. I'm also going to put it on my YouTube channel. If anybody follows me on there, it'll be on there. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Today is Thursday. The week is almost over. I'm so excited so I can spend some real snuggle time with my boo because that's what I want to do with my best friend. Hey, babe, I love you. I know you're probably not watching this because you're at work and you're seeing patients today. And it's cool. I love you. So, all right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for supporting me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate that um, because you don't have to support and you do not have to watch my videos. So thank you so much. I love you all. Remember, live life, love life, enjoy life. You only get one. Thanks. Love you all. God bless.